see it right here for emergencies with the hoist litters and I'll have the TMC medic go over what we have on board so you know in a rescue situation what you can rely on to we'll have on board. I'll give you just a brief orientation around the aircraft, how to approach it, uh, what to respect about the aircraft. So you can get up to here and then he'll take you from there. Normally, when you enter and exit the aircraft or approach the aircraft, always do it from these doors forward. Don't approach an aircraft from the tail rotor because you won't be able to hear the tail rotor or see it. We have yellow paint on ours. Some of theirs, some of the other aircraft don't. You won't be able to see it. And if you're six feet tall like me, it'll take off the top. The rotor blade, you know, in a static position like this, it looks like it clears. But when it's flexing, it can come down and it can hit you on top of the head, which you probably heard CHP happen to them last week. So when an aircraft is running, make sure you don't approach from downhill and especially from uphill. Approach sideways, the same elevation, and always to the nose. If we land on a hill, we'll usually land with one skid into the hill with the nose going sideways, so you approach that way. Don't approach until a crew member signals you to come forward, because we may be still stabilized. When you do approach, coming from the front quarter like this, come up, so make sure that one of the crew member has eye contact with you, and they'll signal you forward, because you know a lot of times we can't see back until we've got the doors open. The pilot, there's always two pilots on these aircraft, usually the first Coming off the nose of the aircraft, when you get it in sight, you know, you just bring your arms up. The way he knows you have him in sight, and we know that's where you want us directed at. And he'll just keep bringing you forward. Uh, he'll bring you forward, keep coming closer, closer. Where you want him, say you want him about where the car is over there. That's, uh, you'll just, after this, you'll just stretch your arms out. That means hover. That's where you want it. Then you'll start bringing your arms down slower, slower, slower. Now, as he's approaching and you bring the arms out, you, that's where you want him to land. On the chin bubble, on both sides, the pilots have where they can observe the ground a little better, maybe, than where you are from where he's at. So he may set down maybe a little closer, back a little further. Don't get her feelings about it. <laughs> uh, but it's just that may, they may see some rocks protruding or something sticking up. Uh, so just go ahead and into the you know, hover mode and bring him down. Now, if he's too far off the nose and you want him over to the right or to the left, if you want him over off to your right side, you know, you're just in the hover position. And always come to this when you're not sure what you're going to do next. Mm -hmm. That way we'll just stay in hover, and then you can figure uh, which way you want him to go. He's going to be going that way, to your right side, and you just give him a split. And he'll start moving over. When you want him to stop, again, keep your arms straight. If he's too far over, move him back over the other way. That's all. It's, it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. Then he'll set down, and you'll just approach off the nose of the aircraft over to him. He'll let you know, like Mr. Green said, he'll motion you when you come over. They usually have to, before they sit down, they usually have to let it run for the ride for about two minutes. Or maybe a crew chief will be sent out to go and see you, see what what you want us to do, if you want us to lift, carry somebody out, whatever the situation may be. It's uh, basically the same as far as the situation goes for when you're slinging something underneath, bringing them in the same way. Uh, we usually have somebody else off to the side, of course. This guy here in the front will be watching the guy off to the side, because he's in the front, he doesn't know how far forward he has to go or if he overshot the position. So he's looking at this guy. He'll give him hand signals either to go forward or come back. But I don't think you'll be involved in that at all. It's mainly just to get us on the ground, let us know the situation if we have to pick someone up there, or let us know where to go and what we have to do. Because we're completely in the dark most of the time when we're called out to these situations. We depend on people like you, since you're here, you know, the statistics, the situation involved, and what uh, 
possibly circumstances as far as hazards go. And uh, as far as bringing us in, I'll leave this with the deputy over here. Right, open this door. Okay, the medical gear we carry is, uh, we can carry three litter victims, and four as we say walking wounded. They'll go in the, uh, sorry, I was going to say what we really refer to it as. They can go in the side holes here. Uh, we have a different name for it.
find out that we can. So if you want, we could all chip in maybe a dollar or something or two. Yeah. We'll get a courtesy. Thing, if nothing else. Hey, hey. And I'll hold the money. Oh, oh boy. Cheryl, Rut, I mean Pat, give me a pace from here over to that tree. One of the white guy on the box. Guestimate me a distance. And what did you guys shoot? I got right at you. Right, I'm going to go over here and lay down. <laughs> Hank, we'll throw this one. Yeah. 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 Hold on, I want to get Warren on, on the camera here, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, I can. For the next I meeting. I broke my ranger and I saw this one. If you're a if you're a golfer, you're really good at this. Yeah. Unfortunately, everything's like... You got that down, Warren? Pat, what did you get? I mean, Dan, what did you get? I know I can drive exactly 200 yards. 65, 12, 14? That's like nothing. Does your declination work into yours? No, I don't have a declination. It doesn't fatty it. Okay, so 70. Here they come! Here they come! Oh, fine! Well, I'm actually pulling it back. Okay, that's fine. Oh, fine! 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 Oh, fine
Remember you lift. Remember like first. Get <laughs> down. Keep your head down. You know this kind of crap we're up against. <laughs> head down, Hank. Don't drop me. Straight up to 